Hello! I just got my February Loot Crate, so I decided to do an unboxing video because I've never done one before and it seems like a fun thing to do. And I'm recording this after I already opened it because my camera didn't record me saying that I was going to open it. Um, so this month's theme is play, which is about co-op games. Um, and this is just a video showing you what you can get in your Loot Crate if you get one because um, they always have cool things in them. They always have um, things that you could get different that like could be different for everybody. And so you will see what I got in this video. So uh, let's see what we got this month. Okay. Aww. Great packing simulator 2015. Oh, this is so cute. So they always put like a cute little design in their box. Last month it actually looked like a old Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, this one's super cute. <laughs> Crate Packing Simulator 2015. I love it. Alright, so the first thing I see is a little Money World Mini Money. Create your own vinyl art toy. It's one of those little, um, like, collectible figures that you can design yourself. And they have some examples down here of what you can make. Or, no, you can't make those. Uh, let's see. Choose your art medium. Sure. Well, I guess you can. You make one of them. Yeah. Um, oh, and it's got wipe off markers so you can clear it off if you want and make something else. Oh, it's so cute! I don't know what I'm gonna make. I probably am super uncreative, so I probably won't make anything. I'll probably just stay there and be blank forever. Ooh, the second thing we have is one of the hex bugs. I have like always wanted one of these. Oh my god, this is really exciting! Oh, it's cute! It looks like Otis! <laughs> It's a little buggy It moves around. Oh, they're so cute. Let's see if there's anything special about this. Battery-powered robot. Uh, batteries included. Yeah, it's just one of the hex bugs. Oh, it's got extra batteries for it, too. That's fantastic. But yeah, it's one of those really cool little bugs that move around. And I can't take it out right now, but I will later. Oh, I've always wanted one. Ooh, okay. Super Fight the Loot Crate deck. Oh, so... If you know what Super Fight is, it's this really cool, interesting card game where you basically um, draw a character, draw a bunch of characters. You choose one to be your fighter, and then you choose their superpower. And I think you can choose two different superpowers and um, put them together. And then you fight with somebody else, with their character, with their superpowers, and everyone. Uh, has to vote and decide on who would win the fight. That's super cool. Let's see, this is a 100 card version of the viral card game Super Fight designed exclusively for Loot Crate by Skybound. These cards are only available in this exclusive deck. Create hilarious fighters with these cards, then argue over who would win in a fight between them. Oh my god, I'm really excited. I need to open it right now and see what I got. I've always wanted to play this. I haven't played it. I've watched people play it on the YouTubes. Skybound games. Let's see. So there should be, yep, there's different cards for powers and for fighters. Let's see, this is super, okay, they all say super fight. So the purple ones, all fighters armed with chainsaws. Oh, this must be like conditions or something. All fighters armed with gasoline squirt guns. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> That's hilarious. They, do they have rules with it? Super fight rules. Separate the white backed cards characters. So, excuse you, these ones, um, and the black backed characters, uh, cards attributes, which are these ones. Um, okay, player one starts by drawing three white cards and three black cards. You can look at them, but don't let anyone else see them. Player two, the next player to the left, does the same thing. Each player chooses one white card and one black card from their hand to create a fighter and places those cards face down. Then they discard their remaining cards into two separate piles, one for characters, one for attributes. Next, both players turn over their cards and reveal their fighters. Each player then draws a random black card from the deck and adds it to their fighter. So you don't get to choose what your second power is, it's a random one. Uh, both players argue and plead their cases about why their fighters would win the fight. Once the arguing is done, the table votes for a winner. So I'm guessing you need like at least three people to play it. In the event of a tie, both players draw a random white card and fight to the death with no attributes. The table votes again. 
Do this until there is a winner, then discard the white cards from the tiebreaker fight. The winning fighter stays on the table for the next player to fight, and will not get any new attributes in the next fight. The player who won the fight earns one point. So every time that person wins, they keep their fighter, um, but they don't get any new attributes. They have to keep their old attributes, and that fighter keeps going on until someone eventually wins. The next match, player three now creates a fighter to battle the winner from the last match, following the same rules for fighter creation above. Then the new fight begins, so player three fights the winner of the first match between player one and player two. Then a new fight begins. If one fighter wins three matches in a row, they are retired and a new player replaces them in the ring. Blue and purple cards. So blues are locations and purple are scenarios. Okay, good, I got that sort of right. Uh, set them aside. Draw one, both, or none for each fight, either before fighters are created or after to take them by surprise. The cards in this deck are exclusive blue crate deck cards for the full 500 Super Fight Core deck and tons of expansions. Visit superfightgame.com. I feel like they did this before, too. Or maybe it was Cards Against Humanity where they did a special deck for Loot Crate. I think it was Super Fight. Let me see. Ooh, there's a blank one, so you can do your own. Oh, that's amazing. That's really exciting. I wonder who I would put on that one. Let's see what we have here. Derby Girl, Godzilla, uh, Ocelot, oh my god. Sushi Chef, Water Buffalo, Carnivorous Plant, King Kong, Grizzly Bear, Prince Charming, Amazon Warrior, Raccoon, <laughs> the player to your right, Yeti, Hercules, Ash, <laughs> they just say Ash, I'm assuming they mean Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. I wonder if he gets his Pokemon in the fight. That's, that's, an, that's a good question for them. Hydra. Army of Skeletons. I, I don't I don't see if that's how that's like an actual character. It's like a bunch of characters. Goliath, Mothra, Stegosaurus, Loch Ness Monster, Kaiju, which is what all those other things are. They are Kaiju, Japanese monsters. The Common Cold, Honey Badger, the Navy, Swarm of Piranhas. Well, clearly if a swarm of piranhas fight the Navy, we know who would win. The piranhas. Animorph, oh my god, I love Animorphs. That's exciting. Star-Lord! <laughs> France. <laughs> the country of France, I guess. King Arthur. Trapper. Like, a, um, the job, I guess. Poltergeist. Literal Teen Wolf. <laughs> Sandy Cheeks. Keanu Reeves. Iron Giant! He would have win anything ever because everybody would just cry when they saw him. <gasps> Dr. Horrible! Oh, this is so great! And two Tribbles. <laughs> that is such a good list of people. And then the blank card. That's so much fun. So then the blacks are the attributes that they have. Uh, can only be killed by a stake through the heart. <laughs> Wrapped in toilet paper. Commands an army of disposable minions. <laughs> Literally a GIF. And it's pronounced GIF, by the way, not GIF. If I hear anybody pronounce it GIF, no, it's GIF. Let's see, armed with a machete is really, really emotional. Wow, I already got that power. Flaming hands throws water balloons filled with acid. Dear lord, oh god. Armed with a limitless loot crate, uh, would instantly win all the time, clearly. <laughs> Wearing a scuba suit. Wearing a bubble wrap suit, armed with a Gatling gun, swinging a two-ton tuna, covered in gasoline. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Stuck in one of those electric cars for toddlers. Can summon infinite trampolines. Holy shit. Armed with a really, really bright laser pointer. <laughs> armed with a piranha launcher. Okay, I this is amazing. I'm taking too long with this. There's more stuff in my loot crate. I need to look at the other stuff. Okay. The next thing we have, oh my god, is a whole entire book. Let's see. Oh, Ready Player One, I've heard of this. this they sell this at my job. I work at Barnes & Noble, and they sell this book. Enchanting Willy Wonka Meets the Matrix, New York Times bestseller by Ernest Klein. Let's see, Ready Player One. Oh yeah, this is like, he gets trapped in a video game, right, or something. Yeah, in the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within the world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on the creator's obsession with the pop culture of decades past, and that promise massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. Should be whomever, I'm pretty sure. But whatever. Whatever. 
but when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself beset by players willing to kill to take this ultimate prize. The race is on, and if Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the real world he's been so desperate to escape. I uh, guess seeing the, you die in the game, you die for real. I'm hoping it's that kind of thing, because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Oh no, my character died. Oh well. Too bad. When he stumbles upon the first, he finds himself beset by players willing to kill to take his life. Okay, I'm assuming that means you die in real life. Delightful, the grown-ups Harry Potter, says the Huffington Post. Oh, that is insane. There's an entire book in the loot crate. Oh my god, that's, that's pretty amazing. And like, I love books. And books these days, at least to me, they seem really expensive. So that's like amazing that there is a book in my loot crate. Like, not like an entire book. Like, not just like a comic book or like um, part of a book, or, like, even just one of those, like, silly, like, um, novelty books, like, I know one Loot Crate, they had, like, how to win a fight against the shark, or something, like, a survival guide type of thing, but it's, like, an entire actual book that's so cool, and it's actually a book that I wanted to read, too, which is also really cool, that's exciting, all right, oh, and they've got their pin, they have a pin in every Loot Crate that you can have, um, the... February 2015 play up. It tells you the theme. Got a little picture on it. It's super cute. I wish I wore pins more. I really don't wear them very much. All right. The next thing I have is ooh, this is exciting. It's a little bag. Those little velvet um cinch bags. Let's see. Oh, oh, does it have dice in it? <gasps> ooh, it does. Oh, oh, are these? Ooh. <laughs> so, oh, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, okay. So there are these little dice. There's the palm. Um, there's the peace sign. There's a fist. And that's all for that one. And then this one has the same thing. Um, palm, fist, peace sign. So then they come with this little, these little instructions. Crate Packing Simulator 2015 Game Instructions. So the box is a game, which I should have realized considering there was like this whole little like thing on there that looks like a board game. Should have realized it, but I didn't. Game Instructions. Welcome to Loot Crate's first original board game. Oh, that's adorable. The goal is simple. Be the first player to have all five items in your crate. Oh, what? Okay, t-shirt, 8-bit glasses, Funko, poster, button. I have a Funko and a button. Uh, use the rock, paper, scissors dice to decide whom will make the first move. Oh, wait, the 8-bit glasses came with the last one. And the, the last one also had a t-shirt. Do they, like, always have 8-bit glasses or something? That's so insane. All right, use the rock, paper, scissors dice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was scissors, not a peace sign. That was a rock, not a fist, and the palm was paper. Wow, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, to decide whom will make the first move. Once a first player is chosen, continue to use the rock, paper, scissors, dice with these numerical values to move your game token. Oh, interesting. So, let me see if I can get that on there. So, rock is one point, scissors is two points, and paper is three points. Okay, land on a star on the board. Land on a star. Pick up one item. Land on a block lock thing, dice battle, uh, battle, rock, paper, scissors, another player to steal one of his items that you're missing, did that thing where it's like his items, not like his or her items or whatever, uh, be careful if they win the dice battle, they get one of your items, if your opponent doesn't have an item you need, they must return one of their items to an item palette and you can collect one that you need. There is no finish line. Just continue to move around the board until someone completes a crate of five items. Just follow the directional arrows and make sure they're to ride the conveyor belts to an item if you land on the blue arrows. Oh, I see. So, they have little things. Oh my god. I wish I had friends I could play this with. That's so cool. Maybe there's like little tokens that are supposed to be the like the represent the t-shirt eight big glasses and the Funko thing maybe not I don't know I figure it out later because I still have more stuff I'm gonna put these back in there so I don't lose them let's see what else this oh oh is this a poster oh, I love posters as you can probably tell I freaking love posters I just got the I went to see Game of Thrones in IMAX and I got the you know nothing Jon Snow poster that had like 
shows the wall and uh, has like a really cool like art style with a grid on it. Really cool. And I still haven't put that one up, but I love posters. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cute! Pac-Man! Game program Pac-Man uses joystick controllers. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, it shows like the actual like um game, I guess. That's so cool. I like that poster. Very cute. A very small poster. Did I just hear something wake the sound? I don't know. Let's see, uh, next is a po Oh, wait. <gasps> Firefly Online Buddhist Temple concept art. Oh, cool. It's concept art from the Firefly Online game. Let's see, the overland awaits you, Captain. Get ready to experience Firefly Online in your very own premium ship, just like the one in Loot Crate's Firefly fan video, The Verse. Available exclusively to Loot Crate subscribers. Oh my god. Visit keepflying.com slash cortex and download the cortex. Uh, the official companion app to Firefly Online. It's free. Oh cool, you can do it on your phone too. Register for an account and log in with your username and password. Click the redeem button in your account profile and enter the code. Um... Once Firefly Online is released, get the game on your platform of choice, iOS, Android, Windows OS, or Mac OS, and log in with the same account you used to redeem your code. At the point where you can buy your own ship, this spacious, speedy transport will be available to you. Oh, that's so cool. So wait, uh, exclusively to Loot Save subscribers, because, like, the redeem code isn't, like, a super, like, it doesn't seem like it's a different code for everything. I mean, I'll just say it, it's Overland. I don't know if, like, p other people get different codes. Your code is Firefly. Like, that doesn't make sense, because that would need, like, a lot of different codes. Let's see. Because, like, then it seems like just anyone could get it, as long as they have the code, which is Overland. So, go out, have fun. The code's Overland, I guess. That's all it says, so. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. I only just watched Firefly, like, about... Uh, a year ago? Six months ago? I don't know. It was on Netflix and I like marathoned it because there's only one season and it was really good. I liked it. I couldn't believe I hadn't seen it sooner. Alright, the next thing in the crate is their little magazine that they um, put in every crate to tell you about like all the stuff in the crate and like um, what's in the mega crate which is the one that you are automatically entered to win if you buy Loot Crate and are subscribed to it. So this month um, February, if you were subscribed, you are entered to win the Mega Crate worth two thousand dollars or more. Um, it's all this stuff. Oh, Lego Minecraft! My little brother loves Minecraft. He would die for those. He also loves Lego. Oh my God! It comes with an Oculus Rift. Are you kidding me? The Oculus Rift development kit too. Oh my God! I am so fucking jealous. That's insane. DJI Phantom 2 Vision quadcopter with integrated FPV camcorder. Oh my god. And then uh, Dremel Idea Builder 3D print. What the fuck? That's an insane mega crate. That is absolutely insane. Wow. Okay. Uh, history of game controllers. Oh, that's cute too. <laughs> I like that. Yep, and then it tells you, oh, cool, money design contest. Well, I'm losing that. I'm probably not even going to enter that. I'm pretty bad. It tells you about the book. Um, it tells you about the deck and the dice and the hex bugs. Um, it tells you about the poster and the Firefly Online premium ship unlock code. Oh, cool, there's, like, different ones that you could have gotten, which usually, there's usually stuff that, like, there's different ones that you could get, so I'm guessing... Um, you could get different hex bugs. I got the uh, little blue beetle guy, and you could get different concept arts for the firefly thing. But it looks like you only get one poster. Waka waka poster. <laughs> All right. Oh oh oh. Here's the game pieces for the board game that is inside the loot crate. Oh, I see. So those are all the T-shirts. Those are like the T-shirts you can get: the eight-bit goggles, the Funko, the poster, and the buttons. Okay. Okay. So I would thinking you had to, like, have the actual items, like, you had to have an actual Loot Crate t-shirt, an actual Loot Crate 8-bit glasses, which they had with the last free actual Funko, uh, figure, which they usually put in every Loot Crate too, except 
I guess there was one in the last one. I think the little Nintendo things were the last ones that they had in January's poster, which they sometimes have in the bun, which they always have. Um, and then you got <laughs> the, like, old school red, blue, green, and yellow peoples. And you can just punch them out. I guess. Yep. They remind me of Pokemon trading card game when you had, like, those little coins that you could flip and, like, you had counters and that kind of thing. Like, if you did, like, 10 damage or 20 damage or whatever. Like, that's what these remind me of for some reason. I mean, it's probably a lot of games use them, but, like, these really remind me of that for some reason. And so that is everything in the crates. Let's see. So now I'll take it apart. So oh, there was a little plastic key thing. Don't know what that was from. Here, let's set that over there. But, um, so that's the whole crate. So it's got, I guess this is where you collect all of your stuff. Like if you're player one and you get a t-shirt, you put it in your loot crate box. That's cute. Let's see, so you can take them apart. There we go. Look at that. So cool. <laughs> I love it. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to try and put everything back in. So we have the magazine that tells you about all the stuff in the loot crate and like the month's theme and um, what was in the mega crate. Fucking so jealous. Oh, uh, why co-op games are good for you. Oh, and there's an article about why co-op games are good for you. Cool. And there's the Firefly um, redeemable code that you can have with a little postcard that has concept art from Firefly Online. Um, there are the um, dice that you can use for the board game on the inside. And you can also probably use them for other things, too. Like, that's pretty cool, the idea that, like, they have rock, paper, scissors on them. I like that a lot. There is the book, Ready Player One, by Ernest Cline. Um, the entire book, like, it's full size too, like, I, I don't know, that's so cool to me. Um, there is the Waka Waka poster, Pac-Man. There is the Super Fight deck that has um, exclusive Loot Crate cards in it. There's a the little Hex Bug. I'm so excited, I've always wanted one of these, they're so cute. Um, there's the, um, Mini Money, not Funko Money, um, Loot Crate, uh, like, figure, make your own figure. There's the button. And there you, that's it, yeah. That's the Loot Crate box. Pretty cool. So Loot Crate costs, um, depending on what kind of subscription you do, it's about thirteen thirty-seven if you just do one month at a time. If you do, like, you buy three months ahead of time or you buy six months ahead of time, you pay it all up front, but it's a little bit less, like, per crate that you get. But it's also, like, $6 shipping and handling, so each one um, comes out to about $20. And the value of them is always, like, something ridiculously more than $20. Like, this one, I don't, because I can't remember how much hex bugs are. I think... The one that's this size would probably be $15, and, like, I don't know. I would price this one at at least $50, I think. I don't know. I'm very bad at economics and knowing how much something should be. But, um, like, with a deck of cards, with a little money figure, with a hex bug, with a book, um, yeah, I would say, like, at least $50 for this, um... Which is, like, really cool, considering I got it for $20. So that's awesome. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to sign up for your own Loot Crate, I'll give you a link for that. If you sign up with my link, I get $5 off my next Loot Crate. So uh, that's cool. Uh, if you use my link to sign up. I mean, you don't have to. But, like, if you did, that'd be super cool. Um, so, yeah, cool. Thank you for watching. This was probably really dumb and stupid. So I'm glad that you stuck with me. Thank you.